What's going on, everybody? It's Rich from Bards in the Basement. We are back with another Bard Babbles. Uh, this will be Bard Babbles number uh, five. And I believe... Now don't quote me on this. But I believe it is October 19th, 2020. It is Monday morning, bright and early. We're going to have the obnoxious sound of my windshield wipers during this. I apologize. But here we are. We are driving home from work again together. Thank you so much for everybody who has saw these videos, who, you know, just looked at them, viewed them for a few seconds, and then thought, wow, that was dumb. But, you know, thank you for taking the time anyway to, to, to watch them um, for as much or little as you have. Um, I want to do the opposite way. There we go. I know how much the wipers work. Windshield wipers work. Wow. That got the edge. Quick update. Uh, I did set heads some plans for the weekend. And we accomplished most of those plans. I did a few loads of laundry. Not as many as I wanted to do. But, yeah. I did stream, and although I said I probably wasn't going to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater because I had a friend that asked me to play it. So, this is for you, Chubby Blueberry. I did it. You're welcome. Uh, did play Tony Hawk for a few hours. Actually, streamed for a few hours. Streamed some the next night, Saturday night. I uh, did stream with the wifey. We played some games that we never played before, and I started falling asleep because I was really tired while we were playing. Here goes those yawns. I just had to say the word tired, and yawns were like, oh, uh, But yeah, so we played for a little while. I started falling asleep because the games were really boring, and then we played Human Fall Flat, and we were dying. We streamed that for like three hours, too. Um, then we played something else, Children of Kodum, something, Abba, Abba, Abba. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Bard Rich. Uh, Bard underscore Rich is where that, that happened. Uh, I linked it in the other video. I'll try to remember to link it in this one. Uh, what else? I started messing around with some thumbnails like I promised I would. Uh, so you might notice uh, if you've seen the videos and you go back to them, they all now have spiffy new thumbnails that uh, I painstakingly put together on my phone because everyone was on the computers. They're not the best, but they're fun, you know. I'm not doing this to be high-end or anything. These are like quick little 15, 18 minute videos of me babbling, like this isn't some high production thing, I mean look, you can barely see my face because it's dark outside, you know, and I can't necessarily have a ring light shining in my eyes when I'm, you know, driving, like this is, it's not too bad, it's not actually, it's actually not even that distracting, like the car's coming at me, like you're about to see one right now, ready, <sighs> that's way more distracting than the light I have up here, so, I don't know what all you dads are always complaining about, Turn off that dark light. It's fine. Anywho, uh, we did play D&D. We played uh, my friend Kara's campaign. Uh, so we did session two of that. So that was fun. Um, I, again, was an obnoxious bard. With a, uh, a kind of ridiculous uh, English uh, accent. It actually came out that much. But that brings me to the topic of today's video, um, impressions. I've been dying to like do more impressions and you know, do that kind of thing, but when... <laughs> I really gotta stop doing that on video, it's terrible. Uh, but when I'm like playing D&D &D and stuff, like I, I'm in the moment, I'm trying to get the information out that I kind of slack on the, the dialects and the accents and the impressions that I'm trying to do. Um, for instance, this is how this all started. Me wanting to be a voice actor and me uh, playing around with my voice and doing things now, other than doing fake British accents my whole life, you know. Uh, you know, prim and proper, put all of the twists you got there. Thank you for the high beams there, bro. That sucked. Um, but I think all kids do that. Uh, but really what started it was, uh, this, uh, YouTube video this video we found on YouTube, um, it was a clip from a show called The Mighty Boosh. It was a, uh, a 
British comedy show weird thing. And the clip was called The Legend of Old Greg. I believe it was season two of the show The Mighty Boosh. Um, season two. And Old Greg. Um, Howard, Howard Moon was on a boat, not fishing. Wink. Uh, not fishing. And he reeled in an old Greg, who is, yes, a scaly manfish. And if any of you are familiar with the video, uh, it, it goes from weird to what the fuck really quick. Kind of scary. And in a moment or two, you're like, oh, this dude's gonna die. And then songs just start he starts singing a song and it's British humor I don't get it I don't pretend to get it but I love it and I have loved it since oh I don't know at least 2010 I want to say it's been at least a decade since I've seen this video and when I first discovered it uh, I believe my friend Amber showed it to me and I showed it to everyone because I thought it was the most hysterical thing in the world. Um, and at that point, it might have been. Uh, other, than, other than butterflies don't flap, they just flutter. But uh, all my gravy talk peeps know what that's about. You. Yeah. Yeah, gravy, gravy. We're talking gravy. So, um. So, honestly. So the old Greg thing came about because I was playing this video so much for people and I was just like mimicking it. And I've always felt like I could like move my voice up and down and I could do different dialects and I could I can tweak my voice, you know, like I can tweak it and I can be completely wrong. Going back and listening to this, it could sound like my voice doesn't change at all, but over the years people have said, Whoa dude, you sound just like that old Greg dude and I'm like you know, so uh, for you now, live in the car, uh, on Bart's Babble, I'm going to babble some old Greg. So if you're familiar with the video, awesome. If you're not, this is going to be a little weird for you, but, um, <sighs> hi there. What you doing in my waters? I'm old Greg, pleased to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Here comes old Greg. He's a scaly manfish. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, you can imitate it. That's right. Anyone can imitate old Greg. But can you do the conga like old Greg does? Can you hold me with your strong arms? Pat me to bed gently on the head. So I started doing old Greg a lot, uh, much to the annoyance of my wife. And when I was doing old Greg, I realized, at least in my head, at least in my ear, Again, this could sound completely weird on, on video, but at least in my ear, I'm like, wow, Old Greg really sounds like Cleveland from Family Guy. I'm like, I could do that. I, I, I could do that. So I'm like, I'm Old Greg Loretta. <laughs> Loretta, why are you doing this to me? Peter. No, 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 no. You know, and it's just, it's, it just goes from there, you know, you're just like, oh boy, you know, they say, life is like a box of chocolates, and I'm the box, you know, it's just stuff like that, you know, which, again, maybe I shouldn't be doing that because, uh, I'm white, and that's the whole reason why the white voice actor stopped playing him, but... I like that I can do that voice, and it's one of the ones I think I can do pretty well, so, um, you know, and then there's always, you pick up on little ones, like, not that I could ever compete with Alec Baldwin, he's the single greatest actor of all time, but, you know, in, uh, The Rise of the Guardians, he plays an obnoxious Santa Claus. Oh, it's a little Santa Claus, you know, to get the toys. You know, and, uh, and it's always how I do my fake Russian ones, you know. And somebody that's going to be like, oh, it's not Russian, that's actually not Eastern European. Whatever. Okay, whatever. You know, and it's not, it's, it's, it's not just, you know, 
trying to be impressive to people too. It's, you know, also working on your radio announcer voice. And my name is Rich, and this is Bards in the Basement. You know, things like that. Um, and I like making goofy things with my voice. You know, I've, I've always liked. I've always liked it. Maybe way back when. Oh, go, go blimey. You know, one of my favourite ones to do is this Australian kick, man. It, it, it's, it's on the top of my head all the time. You know, I'm always watching videos I'm like, how ridiculous. And I know this is like foot flops between English and, and Australian, mate. But, you know, I didn't go away, my baby. Uh, you know, so the point is, I'm, I have a hard time like, singing one or the other. But uh, all that person. Customs border control, okay. But you know, I can do uh, fucking in Russia again. I can do a shitty French accent if you've only seen French people on TV. Oh, yeah. You know, and things like that. So, it's kind of hard. I like playing, you know. I like playing. I like, I like playing character, you know. I think I do really good at playing. You know, somebody with, uh, <laughs> or maybe even let her rip into a joke. <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, so this is why, like, when I just hear my normal voice, I'm like, ew. Is that what I sound like? Bro. Why does anyone like hearing me talk? And then I remember it's because I do all these weird things. Yo, what up, big dog? That's cool. I don't know what they're selling, but oh, it's a plumber. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's good. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <sighs> but, yeah, impressions. I think it sucks about being at my work and working where I do and, and being there. Is, you know, I've tried to hint several times that. I do voices, and, you know, I have fun doing voices, and most of the time when you tell somebody that, they're like, oh my god, you, like, Daffy Dunk, and you're like, wow, do you really want to pick, like, the worst one to do, uh, or Donald Duck, is that Daffy Donald? Donald Duck, Donald Duck, you know, that's not actually what he does, but anyways, can you do Porky Pig, no one can fucking do Porky Pig, no one can do Porky Pig properly. Except the guy that does Porky Pig. When he dies, there will be no other Porky Pigs. I've seen I Know That Voice, and I've seen how he breaks down his Porky Pig. And oh my god, if anyone else can do that, like on the level that he can do that, like you deserve an Emmy. Because, jeez, that, that guy. He does it so fast, too, anyway. So, I mean, you know, when it comes to, like, the legacy voices and stuff, I try to stay away from it, you know. You know, I, um, I don't do a, yeah, what's up, Jack? I can't do a, what's up, Doc? I can't do a, I can't do a Zoidberg. I just can't do it. It doesn't work. Like, these people have amazing voices, and they really hone their craft. You know, and I've looked into this stuff. I've looked into D. Bradley Baker's how to become a voice actor um, website. I've looked into. I know that voice is just a great movie, uh, documentary. I should say not even a movie, a documentary. Um, really inspired me, you know. Uh, and Tara Strong, my homegirl. Uh, I don't know why I just did that. That's gonna look stupid on the internet. But Tara Strong, my homegirl, uh, you know, been listening to her for years, and it took a long time for me to go, oh, you're right. Ooh. That is the same person. Ooh, yeah. I feel like that, you know. The problem is I'm not disciplined enough. Uh, I actually 
created a recording booth in my house. I gutted out one of my closets, put adhesive tiles and foam backing and tried to soundproof it and acoustic proof it. And, you know, I tried to do all this stuff to make it like the optimal recording space. And then I'm like, well, uh, I don't have a good enough microphone. I should just give this up, you know? Uh, that's the problem is, you know, I'm afraid that if I get into it and I actually land a role, you know, just narrating somebody's crappy audiobook, you know, and I have to sit there for six hours, ten hours, fourteen hours narrating all these characters, I'm afraid that I'll lose it. I'm afraid that I won't I won't be able to edit it. I'm afraid that I won't be able to stay in character the whole time. I'm afraid that I'm gonna slit my voices. Like I'm not I'm not gonna stay consistent with it throughout the book. I'm I'm afraid of the failure. I'm afraid of being rejected, and I know in that line of work, you have to not be afraid of rejection, because everyone gets rejected over and over again, thousands of times, no matter how good you are, and I know it, but it's not going to stop me from getting butt hurt if I, you know, submit a dozen auditions, and I don't even get an email back saying no thanks, you know, I'm just, it's discouraging, and... Again, I, would, I think I would have to pick something that I could do in you know, a relative short, relatively short amount of time. Uh, you know, I have to pick something that would only be like four or five hours, something that wasn't due right away, where I'd have time to do it, and I could get my own headspace and do it, because I, I struggle, man. I struggle completing tasks. Like laundry, I didn't finish laundry. I'm shocked that we're on number five of this. Shocked. Because, again, I don't follow through with anything. So this is kind of like my baby steps into following through. I've got two things I'm, I'm doing right now that I'm trying really hard to follow through with. Uh, I would say a third thing, but it's really not. Like, this, this daily blog of my life and what's going on in my random thoughts is one. Not biting my nails. I've been biting my nails since I was like four years old. Like, I'll be 32 in a couple months. And I, I went two weeks before without biting my nails. And I'm at about four days now without biting my nails. I've like picked at them a couple times, like caught myself, but I haven't really chewed them off. So I'm, I'm getting better. It's just they're getting long and like, frustrating. And then the third thing I would say that I haven't really been working on oh, is a bird. There's a bird. There's a bird. The bird scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a person. Whew. Uh, I would say the last thing I've been working on is trying not to have energy drinks. But I had one this morning because my sleep was crap yesterday. So, Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Do all those fun YouTube things. You know, Share it with a friend if you liked it. Uh, just leave a comment. Just let me know what I should work on. You know, I'm cool. You know, constructive criticism. Don't be a dick. And uh, find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bard underscore rich. And, you know, follow the YouTube. Hopefully we'll be posting some more stuff other than just this. We do have some uh, D&D, or not Let's Plays, but D&D, you know, campaigns on there. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this gives me the motivation to get back out there and make some new content that hopefully people like so all right well we'll catch you next time tomorrow